Hello everybody, welcome back to Dyson Seer Program. This is Techno Paladin, and we have come back to Nashira, which is our system where we actually manufacture all of our warpers with all this green cube production. Um, I figured since we have graviton lenses being made here, we might be able to supply them. So I just came up here, and I just set this thing to local demand and remote supply, so we have stuff coming in slowly but surely so it looks like we might need to look at this just make sure we have plenty of supply here as well so I just need to take a look and see how things are going I mean, we have tons of stuff on this planet this is where I did a lot of my initial designs for different things so it's a little more organized but not it's not perfect so let's just take a look here see what we got see if we can't find our graviton lens and all that other good stuff see what we got so we have so we got plenty of green cube green goo we got some pink goo so that's some of what we want to look at so our pink stuff is good Looks like it's pretty good. Got graphene, so that's good. So where is So this is producing a nanotube? <sighs> okay, graviton lens. Uh well, yeah, it looks like we just sucked it all down. So, yep, yep. Hmm. I would have expected this to start going by now. Okay, but that seems to be in good shape, though. So we got our green stuff, we got our good stuff, we got all that good stuff. is, uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, that's that guy. Uh, so this is prov providing quantum chips. And we got Casmir crystals out the wazoo. We got this producing graphene as well. Oh, I forgot we could produce it with er because that takes the two inputs and gets that and not produce hydrogen. Oh yeah. I'm an I'm a moron. I forgot about that. Dang it. So I could go back to Superba and actually drop one of these down. Do I even do I have that saved as a blueprint? Um, oh, helps if I go to the right thing. Uh, let's see. Proliferation of graphene, which could be, I just don't know which one it is. Because it doesn't let us do, oh, it does let us do recipes, dang it. Mm. So I don't know if this is the fire ice. Oh wait, no, this one's the fire ice. Okay. So, I do have a proliferated graphene, which should be... ...that recipe that's over here. What's this doing? Oh, this is making sulfuric acid. That's the one that's making the graphene. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, so it looks like I made a little couple boo-boos and some stuff, but uh, let's come up here and take a look at some of our stuff. So this is gonna start shipping things out here shortly. 
Um, do we have... Let's see, so it looks like I started to maybe produce some solar sails, but didn't do it. These are all of our storage. This is our remote supply station. You know, I'm gonna set that to remote. So, oh no, it is set to remote supply. There. Okay. Man, Wait, how much does that this give me? 600 megajoules to 270 megajoules. So I guess this is, this looks better. Okay. Uh, well, what was I doing? Uh, yeah. I wanted to see if we are shipping out some things here. Oh, so that's set to supply. So I could suck some in from Superba. That's good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. I want to take this quantum chip. and set it to be remote supplied. Are we doing any, are we making any particle broadband on here? Let us see. We are. Okay, so let's um come here and do particle broadband. Local demand remote supply. Or are we consuming it? I think we're consuming it. That's right, this is... Well, that's production. Oh wait, that's Superba. Uh, local planet. <laughs> Quantum chip, okay. Yeah, okay, we're not really... Mm, we're not producing that here. Okay, well... Either way, let's see... I could take this, though have that help supply some extra and let's just have that one do circuit board too why not all right and then we got let's do CPUs, yeah, let's do CPU. Let's just provide that out too. So I think we need to work on that particle broadband to get some of that production being a little better. And that will get us, I think, all of our cubes going. We might now have all of our cubes going in. Let's see, let's do basically four. Green cube, we got some made. How about that? Blue cube, we now have being made. Uh, what about red? Okay, that was in the last 10 minutes. Let's do 10 hours. And we got 
We get blue, red, yellow, purple, and green. So it looks like we had them all made. Awesome. Okay. Might not be in as bad a shape as I thought. Okay, so our main thing is, is going to be trying to get some more planets set up. So, um, I know I usually don't care to do these long flights. Let's uh, go to Beta Signi view. We're going to come back here and take a look. See how things are going. Alright, let's just do this. Let's get off this planet. We're probably going to need all the juice we can get. So let's just wait a little bit and then kick off. So this one's a little distance out here, so... But yeah, so hopefully in the last episode, you know, we were trying to go through and get some of our stuff set up on Superba. Uh, we can probably get some more graphene production going there to make things easier. Because um, I forgot about our other recipe. Because I wasn't thinking. And because uh, that should get us some of the graphene situation there resolved. Um, so first I'm just going to come take a look at Beta Signi to see how things are going and then we'll jump back over to Superba and throw down a graphene processor because um, we should have all the goods there to do that um, and then that should get us hopefully uh, this last research finalized while we get some of this other stuff being produced and then let's just come in here almost there That's not too bad. We almost used up our full battery pack. And let's just get down here. And there's our line. And boom. Okay. Ooh, I like the pretty colors. Look at that. We have got everything. We got all the colors. Except green. Green's kind of slow. That's okay, because we're trying to work on getting that production fixed. So let's take a look at uh, our inputs here. Wow, we got, look at all those coming in. Okay, so we have all of that. And we now have, okay, we got a full stack there. We got a full, almost a full stack there too. Wow. Okay, so really, what I need to do is finish this out, and then start stacking up our towers. So let's do this. Let's go click, and there, 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 and there. All right. So we should start, hopefully, if I did everything right on these other planets, where we have our uh, solar arrays being produced, we should be able to start getting some exotic matter in that we can transform. So, well, now that I have all these, we can do the stack. Did I 
actually create two stacks of threads. Oh, I sure did. Okay, well, let's get all the stacks. take all this stuff and transform it into white cubes but so I have this production here how's our power okay so not too bad but it's gonna get worse okay but it looks like our greens are starting to fill up good so we can actually get this completed here since our other Solar system is not keeping up here, it looks like. And that's actually almost full. Nice, okay. So what I want to do, since, well, shoot, that coal's in the way. So... Let's go on the other side of this coal. And let's just see if we have enough space here. going to be a research the research station so realistically this is going to take the white cubes in if I understand it correctly so let's just set that up right there So, if I have one line out there, one line out there, let me do So, 
This will be where I do my future research. So then what I need to do... Yes, let's see how close is that being to complete. Oh, I still got a ways to go. Okay, but it's cranking away. Um, so we need the production next. Uh, I'm just gonna need all five. It's gonna take six inputs. Can I fit it in between here? No. Let's just do. We'll do it on the other side. So what if I did... Uh, let's grab this. again. Brr. That's right, I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so if I come in here... Let's just set this up like this. So if I did... Let's do one, two, three. needs the output of that thing. I need antimatter. So we're gonna have to get that antimatter get that going. Er. Uh, let's see, so take six inputs so so I'm thinking let's see what am I thinking uh, I'm thinking I might have done that too close let's take that one out okay so because we have line one Line two, line three, line four, line five, lines. So oh, come on. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's go there, there. Okay, now, I'm not going to have all of that together, and these things are a pain in the butt, because, this, because these splitters don't work the way you want them to toast together. So realistically, it's going to be like one, two, three. Uh, actually, it's not even going to be that style. Let's do... Let's do this one. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Let's see, will that let us do it? What I want? No, it won't.
So let's try this. Uh, okay. Let's see, will that do what I want? No, it doesn't even like it that closely there either. Dang it. Okay. Uh, let's get this figured out here. So if it's a one, and one like that. Yeah? So if this is going to come down to there, like that. No, that's not going to work either. Dang it. Um, Because I'll have three coming out here and ship over. Those three coming out and ship it over. I'm going to have six lines basically going this left to right is what I'm thinking. And then I want to be able to pull off one, two, three, like four to six rows of these maybe. Because if these all fit in one... So let's see. One, two... One, so if I did like one, two, three, and four, so maybe four rows worth, but I'd have to scoot this all over. Hmm. What a pain when you have to deal with six inputs. Oh crap, you know what I do? It's six inputs and it's one output. I still gotta get the output, and you can't only go three wide. Oh, this sucks. Um, wait, 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 wait. I just had a thought. Um, I can do this, right? And can I do, if I have a line, let's do this. It, it removes it. Dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to do multi-level. Hmm. So that means how in the world... Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, so I can't, I probably can't do it like that. That's not gonna work very well. But what I could do, because of the way this is laid out, we can do another research station on this side. Right, and get that there, and then I just have to bring another three lines over here to this side, 
those are all in the way of each other, so I gotta get those offset. Because then if I do that, then I can do like so, right? And then let me see something. If I do uh <laughs> oh, this is so hokey. Look, if I did something like that. I think that might be what I need to do. Okay, let's, um. So let me get this layout over here done then, because this is going to be... can do if I did that okay now I have a question let's try something uh, let's do let's grab this and yeah, just grab if I grab this here Hey, hey, we've launched a hundred thousand solar sails. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. Um, so then let's just do, I'm just gonna stick this to put this out here. So this just gives me a way I can drop all this stone that I got in there. Um, okay, let me give you some power. That's what I was afraid of. Um, but can I do, but I can do something like this, right? Where I can go, boom. Just shift to the other side. Why is this being a pain? Yeah, that is so stupid. Okay. So that will not do what I want it to do. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's delete this guy here. And let's just do this as a... Uh, Let's just kill this. Um, and then let's do... That, that. Okay, so let's do... I'm gonna assume that I have stuff here, so I'm just gonna put some lines out, just so that way have them in the way, right, for my planning. So, let's do a... This 
just won't let them in the middle. Dang it. I really wish they would fit like that. Now I'm questioning whether or not I even need the splitters because you know I could just do a three stack, a three stack, and then a three stack, and then well no, then you're gonna do spaghetti too. Mm -hmm. It's like, am I overthinking this? Uh, Maybe, probably, possibly, maybe. But how, let's see, come on. If I have all the stuff coming in here. Just, let me just drop this down again because I want to. So if I have one there, one there, one there. So let's just, you know, let me lay out a few more things here. So if I go one here, because uh, then this needs to go here. It's not gonna. Hmm. Hold on, I know I can do this. I should be able to. Come on, right? Oh no, because if I have one going all the way over. One, two. I don't have any way to get three. Dang it. Um, uh, So if that's the case, I can't really have one on each side. But how much... But I do need to have a way to get the output. Decisions, decisions. This is not the uh, easier of the builds. <laughs> so, because if I have to have three and three, yeah. So there's the th there's that side, right? So then, let's do one, two, and three, right? So then I still got to get the output going to one side. Let's 
So if I have... go that way. I'll probably have to switch the track path, but whatever. Okay, so I have that. Um, let me just clobber that. I don't need all that crap in the way now. So then... Let's have... Uh, let me do this. Um, I have another... it out. Let's just take a look. Let's see how it looks. Right? And then if I have that replicated again here. comes down as to how much output we can get realistically. Oh well, look, our green stack is full now too. All the pretty lines. Okay. Um, so why is that completed? What the heck is going on? It should have had the lenses on that planet. Alright. I'll have to go take a look. Dang it. Okay. But this... Hmm. Well, basically, either way I look at it, I'm probably only going to get three or four rows. If I do four rows, I need all three, all three. And I was going to have one of these have, when I can, I guess I could do another one of these because that's keeping up just fine. I could have that just 
fill this one too, since they're so close. Um, but I'm just thinking if I do three outputs, three outputs, three outputs, three outputs, it kind of creates spaghetti. Because I have to take these three outputs over to stuff too. And since these things are a pain. Oh, what to do, what to do. Uh, why does this have to be so hard? Okay. I wish there was a way to kind of like grab everything and just scoot it over instead of having to delete it all. Alright, well this is kind of how that's going to have to look for that. So the question really is just getting all the stuff here in. Okay, so let's just do this. Uh, let me get... I want to have... How many rows do I want? Four. It's like one, two, three, and four. Something like that. So let's just figure out if I needed two each. Search tower. Now let's do one and one. All right. And then we need three lines on each side. So one, two, and three. Put it in the 
wrong spot. Okay. Let's try this again. So go there. There to there. There to there. Shift. Uh, no, no, let's set that to research. Set that to research. Oh, I forgot I can't. Urgh. good. Then we got power. One. Three. One. Two. And three. Alright. That powers the whole thing. That gets all there. So now we have to work on the inputs. So what I want to do, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm going to get this set up to where I can turn that into a micro blueprint and then kind of paste it over. And I want to have this to have some space here. So let's do, yeah, let's just clean these all up. So I want to be able to drop a blueprint down that will, uh, Allow me to kind of you know connect all the pieces. Okay, now come up on the top side. So this is going one over. So I need. One right there, I think. That should do it. So then... Doo -doo. I did this right. This connected to okay. all right so if I did this right I should be able to blueprint this off so we'll call this 
and say white research station or segment and then I'll do white cube Oh wait, no, this isn't uh, white. This is um, research, so. No wait, this is white cube production. Oh man, no, 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 gosh dang it. I gotta escape, escape. Uh, go back, I'm creating white matrix cubes. I almost screwed that all up. Now let's create the blueprint. So I don't have to make my life harder. White cube production segment. White segment. Just to keep it smaller and then them and save and use. Let's see, will it connect? It does. Look at that. All right, so now I just gotta get the uh, the bus, as it were, situated. So what I'm thinking to do is this. Um, I need to create three lines across, or six lines basically across for everything. Um, and so, to do that, we obviously need these guys. And I need it in that configuration. But we have to kind of do it in a, in a nice, weird, staggered approach because of the way that, you know, this works. So, if I was to set this one here, I'll set this one at the min. Max that, and then if I just do a uh, one, two, ah, uh, almost close enough. Um, let's do this. Let's, that's a I'll go ahead and bring it down just a touch. One. Oh wait, no, I can't be that close. Dang it. Um, okay, so what that tells me is I need to do this. So now that we got this as a blueprint, I can just go kabam, kibosh, uh, and then do another blueprint. And then come back up here to white cube segment and I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it a little further away just so I have my line up my line here and then I'll delete this again but I just want to use that so I have my line So our line is right here, so that guy here. So let's do Well we're gonna need six either way, so we need to do Let's try there. One, three, five, six. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Uh, dang it. I'm Right, that looks kind of right. Let's try to connect these up. Okay, so let's see. I bring that down just a touch. Center, dang it. Uh, I'm off by one. Er, well, that's okay. Let's just see if this is going to work. So, if I do this, let's say. So if I did that, I should get these three. And those three on the outside, those three. So this looks like that might work. Like I know this episode is going to run just a little long because I want to try to figure this out with you guys on the for those who are watching to be on the stream. So we are basically at this line. I want that line right there. Okay. So then if I go up. do it from this line right here. Five and six. So let's just connect these. flip some of these lines around because this is going to feed into here so this is going to go this way um, and then, like I said, I'll just I'll flip some of these lines in a sec okay so this line should flip this line should flip this line should flip 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 and flip. Flip and flip and flip. So these three are going this way, going that way, that way, that way, that way. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, that should work. Nicely, I think. Okay, so really what I need to do now, though, is... Because 
I had this off by. Come on. Let's just do this. Uh, get those out of the way. Okay, now. Let's get this. Make sure we're on the right line. We need this line and that line. Okay, so that sets the line. Five, four, five, and six. And then this line and that line. One, three, four, five, six. Okay, so like I said, so we're going to have top ones go left to right bottom ones go right to left Okay, that creates our input stream. So now we got to get the line set up for uh, for the proliferation. So, but I set this up to where this is basically a line coming down. So let me drop my proliferator on here. So I want it to be as close as I can, and then we're gonna back it off just a touch. So that way when I drop it on, it'll connect. And that should be good. So then we just bring this line down here. Uh, make sure that I can get my proliferator on there. Uh, you know, I might need to see if we can get that to ship in right there. There we go. Okay, so there's that. So now I gotta make the next line, which is basically right here. Okay, so this is. Let me just get my proliferators on here so they're all in line. Right, and then so we have this guy coming down. Stay down. To there. And this is just gonna go to there. This one yeah, it should connect right there. Down. And down. One and two. Alright. That's almost one side done. And then let's get these. Uh, Ok, 
Okay, there's that. And then we're gonna go to here to here. get all of our okay so that should get that side done um, do I have some more proliferators in here I do okay good okay so now let's do the same thing to this side down to there okay just want to make sure I get my proliferators in the right line here This thing looks crazy, massive. Okay, uh, next line here. stupid thing. connected up. Okay, well, that gets us all of that. So let's get some power distributed across here. So that should get us all of that set up. So now we just gotta hook them up to the towers and then drop our uh, our grid down. So let's uh, let's clear this out of the way and let's get these hooked up. So the way that I kind of set this up, I'm gonna use two outlines from each tower. So we're gonna take this line here. And let's make this uh, purple 
So we're gonna go to the first connection point here. Then we'll make this one green. Go to the second connection point. I'm gonna make this one the antimatter. Go to the last connection point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to this side. I need to make sure this is, goes to the right spot. So the the uh, so here. So this time we're gonna go kind of in reverse because we got to go down and around and down because that's the first one. All right, and then we're gonna go to the green again. Down, down, and down, and then purple. And down, down, and come on. Oh, I went one too far. And get that into there. So that's, so that gives us, I basically I did two lines so that way it kind of comes in here. It'll help feed. Uh, all of that good stuff in. Um, and then we can do the same thing for these over on this side. So let's uh, see, we're going to do purple or blue. All right, so let's do blue on the top. Well, this one we can just kind of do right here. It's not a perfect alignment here. Blue. Red into two. And yellow into three. All right, and then we'll just do the same thing again on this side just to give it, make sure we get plenty of coverage. Again, do it in the reverse order. Okay, now if I did all this right, this should all feed into this nicely. And we can come in here and get our white segment. And it should connect right in. Okay, what am I short on? All right, let's grab that. All right, we're just gonna get this kind of, let this plop down, get some power, and hook up our proliferation. And then we will be good to go. So, like I said, we're going to take the proliferation right off of... Ugh, get out of the way here. We're going to take it off of here, just like we did for the other side. So, we're going to come out here, go boom, 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 boom. And I think that's... Uh, this line here, and then go up and connect. Alright, so we have that, and then let's just come down here and just give it some uh, output, and boom. Alright, so that should start getting our proliferation set up. Alright, now the main thing, the next thing we have to do is output. Um, I don't have... We don't really have everything for the inputs yet, so it's nothing that's going to be generated. But what I can do now is say local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, local, and remote, remote, remote. Everything is remote. Okay, so remote. Everything is demand, 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 demand. We want all those things. 
Alright, so now we should see all the colors coming through here. Let's start populating. The only thing that we'll be missing will be our third item. So if we did this right, um, did I do it right? Why is the red not coming through? Did I not? Ugh, come on, get out of the way. Oh, haha. <laughs> I boob do see I boo booed. Okay, so if I did it right, we should have so the green purple, green purple, green purple, green purple. Okay. So everything looks good. We are prepped and ready. So now all we gotta do is make some make some cool stuff, you know? make the antimatter and then we can get this thing going get some white cubes and we need to get our rest of our production figured out so i'm gonna end it here it's a little long episode but i wanted to get this nice little mess figured out so uh if you like dyson sphere program remember like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and we will come back and play some more thanks for watching